Hey guys, how you doing? Um, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you how you can easily compress a large video into a small video. I haven't posted any videos. Quite busy with lots of work, so I can post anything. So now let's start it. First, you need to download a tool. So the name of the tool is Handbrake. It's funny, right? Seriously, a handbrake, like a car handbrake. So, as you can see here, open source video transcoder. When I said open source, I mean you can easily use this code everywhere. It's not, nothing will happen to you. So, what you do is just click on the link, and I think it's friends, right? The handbrake FR. So, let's just try this. No. Don't follow me okay this is just to check how to how easily to check the domain so you can either check the domain or just find the IP address okay Gandhi okay and oh it's about to expire this year how they renew it because this awesome website, you know. That's the phone number, that's the address. This is how easy you can check of a website. So the contact is anonymous, nice. Let me share your contact detail with anyone is like it's not secure, you know, because most of the contact you use everywhere, right? So if you share a secret credential with anyone then consider it yours vulnerable. Anyway, let's get let's get back to the videos. So now this could download. Nothing happened to basically download it. As you can see it download it's free. So it's free. But since I've already downloaded I think let me check. Okay, here it is. It's a GUI which means it's a graphic user interface which you have to use not by a command line, command prompt or a line, but by using a graphic. So I'll double click it, open it. So just click next, next and install. So that's how easy to install. It won't take time. Like it won't take barely a minute, right? Okay, should we create a desktop icon? This is depend on you. If you want your desktop to look clean, then you can easily create, not create. If your well, desktop you want to be messy, like full of application, you can create the desktop icon. But me, I'll just create it. It doesn't matter. So let me just close this. And here it is. I was expecting them to put the icon like handbrake, you know, like a car handbrake, not a pineapple. I don't know in what. Well, the handbrake is a pineapple. See? Okay. I don't know what happened to my internet. I think it's not working right now. It's not like that. Is it there's no. There's no such thing as handbrake. I literally got the same application, you know. See? <laughs> this is a handbrake, right? Not that one. I don't know why it was sitting behind this application, but it's fun. So let's try it. I'll open this up. Shoot. To run this application, you must install .NET. Okay. Now, the way it again. I don't know how. They didn't even say which part of .NET. So that means we have to download .NET. So just search that. Now, let's see, 4.5. Let's try and search for offline installer. Uh, yeah. See the thing offline installer. The thing about offline installer is, you can see it right. You have downloaded and installed it offline. You can see everything. But the worst thing about online installer is 
after you download also you can't say is it installed or not also you won't be getting the setup file so in case you have format your system then I mean you have to reinstall it again and again so that's the worst thing okay it's downloaded and this is 66 MB thank god my internet is fast enough wow anyway it's 2 a.m. in the morning I actually have some work to do regarding this comp video compression oh and that's how I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit Okay, let's just hope these things work or else I'm screwed come on that's not an offline okay that's an offline installer look like right and we just hold on a second I'll be back video will be the next will be there or not, there's a problem with this drive scan the drive and fix it should we scan it let's make the system a little more more hand so what it mean by scan is when you have to scan it with an antivirus it literally mean you have to scan it here Go to tools and check for the file system. So just repair the drive. Ah, see, you're scanning and repairing the drive at the same time. But I don't trust Windows because Windows lie a lot. Okay, that's worse. Right, it's it's the system. Kind of done it. Do you need it? Let's try and break. You should read the documentation. I think it's probably like to build. Here's the documentation, but it's too big, right? So we gotta go to. Yeah. Okay. Oh, they need the latest version. So done. Then what is the latest version? So done at five, six projected, projected. So let me see. Let me install five. I think five is the latest version. So. Let's see if we have. I don't think there's an offline installer for. Wait. Seriously, Microsoft, you have them? Oh, no wonder. At some point, you have to download all the position from the original website just to make sure you are safe. Right? Ah, but if you download from other other website make sure you know what you're doing else your system will be messed up okay you now it's downloaded if your download doesn't start after 30 seconds click here to download manually ah, I can't wait for 30 seconds and it's gonna take time this is not a plan the plan is just to download oh. see when your internet is too fast then this has happened no mind. I think it's not installed online. I just open it twice. Oh, it's her. Okay. Alright, that's cool. Successfully. So let's open that. Pineapple. Will it work? 
Why the hell do you want now, dude? The framework of Microsoft Windows just stopped. Uh, Now they have internet, the fast internet, right? Now search for the problem. It's a problem. Microsoft that Windows to start that app. Microsoft dot. Oh shoot! What the hell? Okay. Microsoft. Hmm. This is like a website. Okay, no problem. Let's go to Stack Overflow. This is actually one of the best website, you know, to help you. I hate cookies. Seriously. install the runtime also it does a lot of installation going on right here okay so it's runtime is alright it's 64 bit okay let's try windows stop runtime that's 52 megabyte Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, man. Okay, I'm going to even action. I want to show you. See, fifty MB, not even like sixty second. I don't understand, by the way. People tend to give up when the problem occurs, right? That's how you tackle your problem, right? You know where the problem was written by the problem. Search for a solution, then implement a solution. If it's work, I mean, you're successful, right? If it doesn't work, then keep on trying, keep on repeating. At some point, you found the right one. I think I need to... What should I say? I need to restart my system, just in order for this to work. But... And I'm gonna do it well. And I know it's still not work. Okay, come on. Show me what you can do. Hey, it's working, see? But then I tell you, don't give up, just keep on trying. At some point, it's done to work. Now, what did I s what did it say? Okay. Let me just compress one video. I need it small. So there's my pen drive. And this is the video. This is actually a web um, video. Let me have to I have to check the size of the video. Because I've tried to convert it many times so it's not it's not working. Just open it. Why do you need to scan the paper man? Okay, this one I have to blur it. Hmm. So here, see, the, it's constant 22 RF, right? When it's at 22 RF, that means it's in the middle, it's in the medium, like right? not too big, not too large. So what I need is a small one, right? So I'm just gonna reduce RS to 23. And you can change preset to, let's give it same as the source. And we need to give a constantable framework. Right, so that's all you need to do. So, for this, you don't need for this, also you don't need this one, is not needed, right? So, should we try and compress it? So, 
so let's just give it slow if preset will be slow and it will be rather small okay so I can save this in my pen drive so let me save it new okay since it's not before Let me start encoding. As you can see here, it's encoding. Uh, are you freaking kidding me? The, uh, the remaining time is 3 hours, 42 minutes, and 8 seconds. That's like the whole day, right? I don't know how slow it can be, but that's literally the whole day, so let me just stop it. I don't wish this. Remember this, modify it. Okay, so just give it general. I don't need actually a large file, I just need a small one. Let's give it as a something TP, sorry. Okay. So you have to change this again. Give it slow. And RF also you have to change. Make it 33. And make it a custom frame rate. And also you forget to change the frame rate per second. So if I give the same as source, then it will work fine, right? So here there's no there's no web app. No it's okay. That one will do if it's ten bit or hmm. so you can add an audio here as well. So we decode it. We can decode it as so here you can add the subtitle also. That's how good this application is. If you use AC3 also it's new and it's gonna work. So let's just start coding. Yes. It's not even MP4, it's M4V, I thought it's MP4. That's great, right? Okay. So when then do not think about it. So I'm gonna show when the video when the when the convert is finished. What actually happened was the size of the video. So as you can see the original size is like 50 MB no less. It is the one right 49.2 MB. So let's see what happened after it finished converting. Will it the size reduce or will the size stay the same? So that's how it goes. So just wait a little bit. I'll show you after it done. it's done. And for now, let's just wait. Okay guys, so the wait is finally over. So let's see. Okay, so this is the video we converted. It's, what's the size? It's 49 or 50 MBs. Yeah, it's 49.2 MB. So, let's open it up. Hi, hi. Okay, it's clear, right? It's basically 1080p. The print. Okay, so, uh, okay. Now, this one is the one we just finished to compress. So, this is really good, actually. I didn't expect this to happen. It's actually really good. See, it's 18.1 MB. So basically, like, the reduction is damn good. Okay, so the original is 50. And the one, the compression is 18.1 MB. So let me just check out the quality. If it's still good or it's the quality is defective. Okay, that's not how you check. So let me just open up in VLC. Okay. 
and it became music in the project in the project so type of user wow. applicator type of user applicator and wow this is actually really awesome see it's like nothing has changed i mean everything is clear good as the original okay let me do an hi oh shit hi. my name is rem kilalo my name is Remkin and currently I'm doing my master in computer application. My master in computer application. Wow, this is really good. I mean that compression rate is so good. I think you should check it out. The name of the application is Handbrake. So anyways guys, so it's work. Right now I'm still doing the second part of my try to cover the second part of my videos. And I hope you try it out to compress your video see. Why do we need to compress a video? Imagine you have like uh let's say one gig one gig videos, right? Yeah. Imagine you have one gig video, so what you need to do is you need to upload it. But the internet connection is slow. Especially for YouTube, right? So compressing it it'll reduce the file size, then you can upload it. Not only that also, it will save the hard drive space. Imagine if you have ten movies like it one gb each so that means 10 gig right and imagine if you compress it with this rare application that is handbrake then it will be like 300 mb so 300 to 10 you know right the calculation you do it 30 so that's the vast different okay let me show you if you don't believe me so imagine right one gb right one zero two four into ten so that's thousand to four so that's basically ten gb so that's for ten movies so even if you have mb if it's one mb right so one two one zero two four that's a kb so basically it will be like 100 MB not even KB also 300 MB so from 10 GB you will be safe like 7 GB so the file size will be 3 gig if it's 300 right yeah if it's 300 size after you compress it that's just approximate I am that's what I'm assuming so i really suggest you that make sure you check this application it's right here the name of the application is handbrake i'll be putting the link down in the description and with that thank you so much for watching and have a good one peace out